Hello to all students. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss a disease which is known as autoimmune disorder or autoimmune disease. This disease is commonly known as lupus. While technically speaking, this disease is known as systemic lupus erythematosus, also known as SLE. This disease is present 90% in the in females it is also found in males but uh, as compared to female the ratio is very low as you know that our body has immune system which is also known as immunity to protect our body from the harms of pathogens like viruses bacteria fungi etc but sometimes it happens that our immune system becomes so sensitive due to some problem or some genetic problem or some environmental factor that it backfires on our own tissues and organs. As a result, our body organs and tissues can get destroyed by our own immune system. So that is why this disease is known as autoimmune disorder. There is no cure for this disease. But there are certain medications which can uh, prevent the symptom which are known as flares of this disease. Now let's discuss thus first of all there are different types of lupus but most common uh, I already mentioned over here is known as systemic lupus erythematosus. but there are other types of lupus which are known as cutaneous lupus, neonatal lupus and drug induced lupus. The common symptoms of this disease are flares. Flares are specialized symptoms which are related to this disease, which includes fatigue, fever, joint pain and joint stiffness along with the swelling in the joints. That is very major symptom of this disease. But this disease mimics with other diseases so that is why it is very hard to distinguish this disease and most of the time patient feels that he, uh, he or she does not have any kind of lupus but uh, he thinks that there is another kind of disease so that is why it becomes too late to treat that disease the major symptom of this disease is butterfly shaped rash look at the face of this young girl it has a rash on its face which looks like the wings of a butterfly. This rash spreads along the cheeks of the female body. In the center it appears on the nose. So this is a major symptom which can distinguish a person that this person having SLE means lupus. But it is not necessary. Some patients do not have uh, this kind of rash on the face. Skin lesions especially exposure to sunlight, shortness of breath, chest pain, dry eyes, headache, confusion and memory loss, photosensitivity and uh, uh, fingertips becomes blue or white during winter season. So these are the some of the major symptoms of this disease but these symptoms can also vary person to person and their severity can also vary from person to person. So what are the major causes of this disease? Still we don't know exact cause of this disease but genetics and environmental factors are the major causes for this disease. And also female sex hormone which are known as estrogen can also trigger this disease which is known as lupus. Sunlight especially ultraviolet radiation can also trigger this disease, smoking, vitamin D deficiency and certain infections in the body can also lead to lupus. As uh, I have already mentioned that this disease affects all major organs of our body. When our immune system becomes uh, defective and it backfires on its own body organs, it can destroy kidneys skin, joints, heart, 
nervous system, lungs. So if our immune system attacks on these vital organs, these, there is an inflammation in these organs, which can lead to severe condition of the patient and can also lead to the death of the patient if certain medical, uh, <coughs> medical is not achieved. So we have to be very careful because there is no cure for this disease. But there are certain medications which are used by a specialized doctor which uh, study and uh, diagnose this disease which is known as lupus. We cannot go to any simple doctor or any other doctor. There should be a specialist doctor who is dealing with the lupus who is going to take care of this disease. So what they are going to do? They are going to prevent the flares, try to give you medicine, such medicines which will prevent symptoms of this disease which are known as flare. In this condition, corticosteroids are mostly used to reduce the inflammation in the body. Anti-malarial drugs, hydroxychloroquine can also be used. Anti-inflammatory drugs to reduce the inflammation, especially non-steroids. Anti-rheumatic drugs which affects on the joints and uh, uh, reduce the inflammation and pain and swelling in the joints. Immunosuppressant because the immune system is too active. So there should be some medications used which uh, reduce the, suppress the immune system so that it can slow down and stop attacking uh, in on its own body tissues. At the same time analgesics especially opioids are used because there is a severe pain inside the body especially the joints to overcome this severe pain some doctors specialists they use analgesics if common analgesics doesn't do not work then opioids specialized uh, analgesics can also be used uh, there can also be different uh, surgeries can be performed if there is a inflammation or there is a liquid in uh, heart or in the lungs membrane or in the kidneys or in the liver or in the skin but it depends upon the severity of the symptoms and the condition of the patient. Lupus patient uh, should have a special diet which contain lot of omega-3s which can be gained from uh, fish or fish oil calcium rich food like milk, uh, cheese and yogurt, whole grains can be used to promote the healthy digestive system. At the same time fruits and veggies can also be used uh, to boost up the uh, immunity and uh, make up the regular living of a person of suffering from lupus. So I hope uh, with this uh, information it will be easy to understand the uh, some overview of the this disease lupus and uh, that's all for today. Hopefully see you in the next lecture. Until then, bye.